Okay, everybody. Here's a video I've been meaning to do for a while. I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on the K245C by Sarsalmaz. This is a Turkish made handgun. Uh, in my opinion, it is uh, excellent quality for the price range, which uh, right now is around 600 bucks. However, you know, when I got this one a couple years ago, it was at like 450 which is one of the reasons I got it. Because I had just sold my um, also Turkish 1911 Commander that I got after my also Turkish uh, 1911 government. And I was like, oh, a double stack, 45 that's the same price, sick. Um, and I was thinking at the time, oh man, if I get the compact version, I can just put the full length barrel in there and thread it. Which is what I did, however I didn't realize it would take several years to, well, yeah, about two years to get a hold of the full length replacement barrels. But if you uh, talk to SAR USA and ask them for a K245 replacement barrel, have it shipped to your local gunsmith. Um, get about 0.4 inches with the barrel threaded. Um, it's it's pretty nice. They did say that they would have threaded barrels on their website, but they're apparently uh, stuck in some kind of customs, bureaucratic, whatever. So this is a full steel handgun. Which gives it some weight. I would say not too much weight. Um, I would say, you know, uh, 14 or, se you know, 16 or 17 rounds of uh, 45 also gives it some weight. So, who cares? Um, this one here, with all the goodies... It has the Galloway Precision Optic Mount, which, by the way, if you do, if you're trying to re like remove your rear sight, I've found that every handgun I've ordered from Turkey, uh, it's like Cerakoted in place, and you have to use a cutting wheel on an angle grinder very carefully, and uh, get a slit down the middle and get it out that way. Get creative. Um, so. Galloway Precision did this and this. Uh, this is cool. It's 3D printed. It's okay. It's not bad. It adds plus two. So from 14 to uh, 16. Uh, these do use um, P14 magazines as well, but it will not lock the slide back on the last round. Something to keep in mind. However, like these Metgars... Are can be pretty cheap compared to the SAR magazines. So, some of the things about this gun that are really good. Number one, yeah, it's solid. It's extremely accurate. Uh, one of the first times I went to the range with my buddy, I was we were shooting at this um, satellite dish, just about 120 yards away, uh, with our rifles and stuff. And I was like, I'm gonna see if I can hit that with the handgun. Bam, first shot with this guy right here. And uh, I wasn't even trying that hard. And I found in the past, before I had a lot of practice with handguns, like I just couldn't shoot some handguns like Glocks and stuff. Uh, I just couldn't shoot them accurately. I just wasn't, I, I didn't have enough practice and so on. But this was intuitively uh, quite easily, easy for me to shoot. I don't know why. Um, I've never been super fond of polymer frame handguns, just as a matter of preference for myself. And uh, nine mils also like it's all a matter of preference. Forty-five versus nine mil. Um, basically, the data seems to suggest, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, that uh, nine mil, twenty-two, forty-five. If you're getting hits in vital areas, uh, it's all going to basically be equally effective. Um, 45 is heavier, it's slower, 
it's all a matter of preference. Um, but I think if you're going to carry 45, uh, you should carry a double stack because it's more ammo. You could do better than this for a defensive handgun, I have to say, just because it's kind of big, you know. But uh, if you're just a boss, if you're just built different, if you're just a, a bad motherfucker like that, then who cares? It's a big handgun. Um, so, what are the cons? Uh, I would say the cons are, to me, that the thing seems to be held together with roll pins. Uh, I don't like roll pins at all, personally. Another thing that you're going to notice about this is that when you look at the, uh, the chamber here, it appears that there's an angle, that it's angled, but it's actually not. This barrel is angled. This is flat in relation to the barrel. So that gives you an idea of how downward angled that barrel is, which can present a problem when you're using a laser designator um, because you're going to find that your dot is too high and you can't get it to uh, be where you want. And uh, the way I solved that was by putting a little wedge of guitar pick in there. Um, and it doesn't seem, it seems okay for this uh, red dot sight, green dot sight rather. Um, so, if you were considering like the HK45 or the 45C or the FNX45, uh, this could be an alternative uh, if you, you know, if you can get this threaded barrel. Uh, all in all, it's really excellent handgun, super accurate, super reliable, uh, I don't think I've probably e ever had a failure to feed that I can remember, uh, the barrel is ramped, uh, obviously, as most, uh, modern, modern handgun guns are, it's, uh, Designed very similar to whatever the 45 CZ is. I think it's like the 87 or something like that. And I, I believe that Sarselmas is actually licensed to make CZ clones, but they just make these instead. And uh, it's cool. Some people have said this looks like a, uh, a uh, SIG had a baby with the CZ. But really, in my opinion, there's a little bit of Jericho in there too. Um, a little bit of uh, baby eagle in the design. So, all in all, it's a really solid handgun. What else? You can't uh, replace these sights. It would be really nice if you could get tritium sights for this. And this rear sight is allegedly compatible with some type of Smith & Wesson sight. But you're going to see... This front sight here is weird, and there's nothing that I know of that you can replace it with. That's another con. But all in all, the gun is very inexpensive compared to other double stack 45s. Um, I've heard a lot of people argue that these are way better than the CZs, uh, the 80 whatever. And uh, in my opinion, they look way cooler. It's a really cool, cool looking gun. Um, something else. You might notice here that I have this uh, sort of uh, finger groove thing. This is actually uh, you, something you have to make on your own. You get a hog grip sleeve and cut it and just wedge it under there and put a little glue or something. These grips are custom made by a company called RDW. They sell, uh, they're pretty much the only people selling K245 grips on eBay and I ordered these custom and they were only like 45 bucks each and they did them pretty quick and this is walnut and this is G10 or whatever so I would suggest that since the grips that come with are pretty unremarkable not much more to say about it Thanks for watching.